Hi guys, uh, welcome back to another video. Here we have this BMW F13, not F20, like one series, two series, three series, four, five, X, you know, X5s, X6, all of them, all the auto gearbox in BMW. Uh, it's not common, I wouldn't say it's 100% common, uh, but it does occur in some of the vehicles, um, and that's the gearbox, it does judder. Now, for some vehicles, it will judge in gear one and two. For some, it'll be three, four, and five. For some, it will be all the gears throughout. Um, now, it's a very difficult one to eliminate. Very, very difficult. Personally, I'd start off with um, this diagnostic machine, I'd, unless it brings a fault code on there, because majority of the time, 90% of the time, it doesn't, unless it's low in oil, and you know and it's obvious, you can do that. You can either check the oil level on this or on the gearbox itself. Now, this specific car does judder in gear two and three. You can feel the shake. It does actually shake. Um, now, what we're going to do, I'm going to go into service. It's common. I've had a few, to be fair. And with the reset adaption, it's worked fine. No problem. Now, and I'm sure it's the case with the, it's the same case with this because the um, gearbox oil has been changed. Um, and all we're going to do is just reset the gearbox itself, the adaptions. So this is the one we need. So I'm just going to turn the engine off. Ignition on. And yes, that's another thing as well. So battery, um, battery, low battery voltage will also cause this problem as well. So they're the um, ratios. So let's reset it. Yeah, um, bad battery will also cause this. I mean, there was a a new battery in which we've took out anyway. It was doing the same with the new battery on. So I've put the original back on, and they, they, that that's also eliminated. Um, so if we come out of this, this should hopefully fix it. I mean, seventy percent of the time it does nail it and fix it, no problem. Um, but personally, I would honestly start off with this. Um, obviously check the gearbox oil if that's okay good if not sometimes there's a filter in there within the gearbox itself and it will um, cause that so you just need to kind of change the oil in the gearbox but it's very rare very very rare and if that doesn't do it then um, you know the uh, the reset adaption what I've done should also nail it and what you need to do after you reset it personally what I would do <clears throat> is go on to like motorway or something and then just go through the gears one by one um i would like you know let the revs go up to like three four and then change it three or four and then change it one by one till gear eight and then just put it back into normal and then just drive normally and see how that so, goes here we are guys i've done roughly 15 miles in it uh test driven it done on uh, like done all the gears um one by one from one to eight uh, you know, revving all the way up to like 4,000, 5,000 RPM and then coming back to one. Um, done a quite a good drive um, and it's not done anything to be fair wheel. It's smooth as out. Um, and I forgot to mention earlier as well, um, you can you can get this sort of problem sometimes when the gearbox is cold. Like, you, uh, sorry, you will probably get the juddering when the gearbox is warm, like when the engine warms up and the gearbox too. It, it starts to judder. Sometimes when it's cold, it doesn't happen. However, it's vice versa for some cars. Um, it's just the way it is, really. But this kind of nailed it, and it's all fine, and there's no issues whatsoever with the vehicle anymore. Um, so, yeah, everything's passed, really, which is good news. And luckily, this has solved it. But for some, I said, just do what I've said. Um, do the basics first without you know, having to put a lot of money into it and changing the whole sump, the gearbox, sump and, you know, oil, see if the oil level's right, you know, see if he, uh, if you know when the last service were done, that'd be good, if not, then it's a kind of, it's, it's all a trial and error, really, if you ask me, but, um, it's very rare this happens in BMW, but, uh, it does happen, unfortunately, so, yeah.